is there's spotty repairs, there's shattered pieces, you've got broken solder joints through uh, metal fatigue in some, in some of these places near the solder joints. Is that a repair right there? Um, there's a weird, there are some weird, it can be hard to tell with these very trippy windows. Like here, you got this sort of thing. Um, this globi globiness looks like uh, an in situ repair. Um, some of the oxidation you see is from uh, corrosion in the solder from the, the original flux, which is you know not agreeing with the metal. Um, you know, so the kind of button here, you have a break here and here, so you can see this buckling. This, this, this is a hinge point, so eventually the window will continue to buckle along this fault line. It already is out of plane a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So um, is that what they do when the glass breaks? They just solder it? Uh, so they, they can, yeah. And, um, so soldering vertically is no... Well, well, I'm noticing like these that aren't on the other windows. Um, this, let's see if this, this might be... No, it's not. So this was actually glazed together like this, but I mean in this, like in this piece, this is this is original, and I think that like we were talking about, they uh, they cut this and glazed them together to to make it seem more medieval looking. They would do these sort of artificial repairs. To yeah. you'll see it. You'll how see do you it. know it's that it's not? Bigger. How do you yeah. know it's one piece of glass and not? Well, you can tell by the grain. Yeah, but couldn't grain. they have taken that broken piece and, and you know created? They a could. Light. They could. But yeah. that would have meant that at some point this came out, and then it had work done to it. You couldn't have done it in place. Uh, not really, no, really? not really, because yeah. there's no way to get in there. So to, yeah. to take this panel out just to do this would have been, someone might have done it, but it would have been a... Is that what you oh, would do here? Weird. Or with that? Well, or? no, no. See, nowadays, um, and in the old days, that's, that's what, not only would, I, would they do it here, but they would do it in place. They would do it vertically, and they would solder here and here, and they would stuff it with grout and hope for the best. It's called a Dutchman. Uh, uh, whereas now, they actually have epoxy. As, as long as none of this is lost... They have epoxy where we can glue this together, together. and you won't even see the crack. Oh, okay. And some types of glass you will, but an opalescent glass like this, you won't see it. Oh, okay. What else is the, like a showing, making this window, showing its age? I'm seeing some kind of distortion you over on that side. Or... Yep, you see yeah. the dried putty here. You, you, right. you see the channel here. There's virtually no putty left at all. Um, well, I see lead, but what's the putty between the, the lead? The putty is between the lead and the glass. The, the, the lead, the cam is shaped like a girder. And that, it's that space within that capital I that you have to stuff by hand with grout, like we were looking at in the photo you showed me. That's what he's doing. Okay. Is he's, he's putting in this gray. I didn't material. realize there was a material between the lead and the glass. Yeah, there has to be. Because if this wasn't grouted, it would it would. And leak putty, leak water putty, the window putty. Uh, well, we use something called Wonder Putty now, which is an oil-based compound. We used to use a DAP product that isn't. But 100 years ago? I mean, this was supposed to last No, like they long. used um, whiting and linseed oil, and they made their own. It technically like isn't supposed to dry. It's only supposed to. Stay it is not. It's never completely dry. Yeah. that's right. Even after all the baking and every all the yeah. heat changes yeah. that go through. Mm -hmm. So, uh, w would you recommend that this this sting this leaded glass unit right here mm -hmm. is a candidate for what type of repair from nothing all the way up to the full removal and and re uh, 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 disassembly of all the glass and then the reassembly of it is there we anything would, we would disassemble the entire thing okay uh, we would keep pieces like this intact together and we we not only we we clean all the glass by hand but a piece like this we clean each shard by hand and then reassemble it and glue it um in a piece like this, well, this is actually this is actually an original. Uh, like I said, this is an original phenomenon here. So we would glaze this back together like this. We wouldn't glue this because that's the way it was. That's the way it was, and if we, if we did, the piece would become too small. Yep. The ones we glue are the ones where you have a real Dutchman. Sure. A, a Dutchman means I can pull this away. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we clean each piece, reassemble the whole thing uh, with new came. Um, the way we the way we build this grid is a little bit different. And we would probably use more reinforcing than they did. Uh, there are rebar, we, we call them rebars or um, support bars on the inside. And I would probably put um, one or two more than they originally had on the inside. Okay. What, what little design am I, oh, that's a writing from the inside. Now there's, there's uh, dedication plates painted yeah. here and okay. the paint, the ones I've seen, the paint has failed. Okay. And the paint fails for a number of reasons. And when it does fail, the, there's, a, there's a spectrum of approaches to dealing with it, but from a conservational perspective, the, the, now like the most approved approach is to leave it pretty much alone. So I'm not going to paint on this piece of original glass for sure. Um, I could plate it with the same font 
and um, that would give you a, a kind of a parallax problem that would look bizarre and mm. would be quite the thing. But you wouldn't make it any worse by doing the work you did. You no, yeah. because we no. The good question yeah. is we pull this out dry okay. and we handle it dry. It never does get wet. And we whereas would, the rest of the window, you have a wet part of the process. We do. So we would pull these out first. We okay. pull these out. We set the panel aside. And we, we set this aside, and then we soak the rest of it. So the rest of it is all dismantled underwater. Why? So that because the, so the bath of water catches all of this material and all the oxidation, which is on the surface of the lead, which you don't want to breathe. So it's done underwater to keep the dust down. You guys have to learn how to work through the refraction of light through water. We we figured it out. <laughs> Special glasses. Could you clear cut? Um. Is that paint on there? Well, like that, no, that, that's that's a that's a, a very controversial topic, you know. And there's <laughs> there is actually um, there's something called B72, which is um, a chemical that people use for that, but um, it's contentious right now in the glass conservation world because um, there's no proof that it doesn't yellow. There's no proof that it doesn't fail, and when it does fail, it would take the paint with it. Right. So um, I, Connie and I were reading articles, poring over articles, because this is a big topic at St. Boniface which is an amazing church in the Tenderloin, if you ever get a chance to walk through there. Um, Boniface. St. Boniface is right, it's like ground zero in the Tenderloin. Um, Jones and Hot, Jones oh, yeah. and Taylor. Or oh, yeah. No, Jones and Leavenworth, I'm not sure. Mm. It's down there. And um, it has amazingly, beautifully painted figurative windows with the paint that is just completely leprous. Like, they look like ghosts. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the church doesn't want to spend money, but the parish wants them to look the way they used to, but they're historically relevant so from a conservational perspective. You can't tamper with the paint. And, you know, and if you do tamper with it, tamper with it how do you do it? So that's where this came up. But um, in, in this case, I think we would probably opt to leave it alone. Unless, unless the church, for example, in some cases, um, a, new, a family from the parish will decide to fund some of this work. And if they do, I would replace this with the, you know, the same font, the same design, but with the name of the new family. Um, it's cheating a little bit, but you know, uh, you know the, the church is the client. And if it's have you seen it done at other churches? Uh, I've seen it done at other churches, yeah. yeah. Kind of when I've done it, I don't think I've actually replaced a plate to do it. I've done it somewhere else. But. It's kind of a nice gesture, because life does move on, and it does evolve. Uh, you you right. need parishes where they, they have these names. Is. They have families' names. No one knows who they are. No one's known them. The, the elder of the family perished in World War II, and, mm -hmm. and their name is still there. And in, in many cases, the church you know, still respects their memory and doesn't want to tamper with it. In other cases, they, if they say, who are these people? You well, you, wouldn't you take all those and maybe put them somewhere as, a, as another that. memorial yeah, 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 of those? Right. No, we, we, this wouldn't get tossed in the dumpster. Yeah. This would get passed yeah. off. Yeah. The yeah. A church like this will have an archivist, yeah. and yeah. they keep stuff like right. that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Element, well, that's pretty much the, the, the upper, that. Is the upper sash that you should talk about. The upper about. sash is the whole thing. Yeah. They have HVAC in here now, it sounds like. So we're rendering these transoms um, obsolete or redundant. But um, they do work or can work um, from a, a cord on the inside. They, they louver open for ventilation. One option is to recreate, the, rebuild these, and just stick them in, which is, which is a fine approach. Happens all the time. We don't need operable windows we up there. We don't need operable windows. And, and as you can tell, sense. most of them are never shut fully, yeah. and very then they odd, start weathering odd. differently. Yeah, because every time they get painted, yeah. they shut less and less, right. and that goes on for 60, right. 70 years. Yep. Yeah, that's or 100. Cool. But there, the other element is the glass itself. Cause well, that's what I was selling, right. Ed. Oh, you were. probably okay. shouldn't have, because oh, right. it okay. seems a little overwhelming. Oh, but was I, it okay? I, I would pitch for, um, for a new approach to all of these transoms. I think they're... They're unsightly. They don't add to the, the art. They, they add Tell to me the about the glass record. inside those transoms. It's, what? It's, a, it's a pretty pukey opalescent, you know, greenish purple. Um, you know, it's, it's probably, it is the same glass. It's trying. Right, it's similar I don't to think the same it is glass. the same glass, glass. no. It that looks a little rippled, more textured to me. Texture, it's yeah. the same color. If you go to the inside, I don't think this, the When you look at the inside, there's very little resonance yeah. between the glass yeah. down here and this. So my, my, my suggestion would be, that with this color palette, one, two, three, four, five, and all these are rel relatively available, we can create um, uh, a design that is sympathetic to this one in the transoms above, and then right. the, the quality also of the light. the size of the caming. And the size of the caming, yeah, and exactly. The, and the way the cames li don't line up right now. Right. I mean, except the this, middle one. Right? This big 3-8 right. flat, and down here you've right. got 3 16 round. Yeah. It's not the same, you it's know. Still the same. 
Yeah, I think that would be a really. You mentioned over over here on the on the tower, you would prefer to flip the two panes so the the lower pane was on the top. It, it is an option to yeah. remove the mullion between the bottom and the top. Right. The bottom most panel has that Moorish arch to it, mm -hmm. which is customarily found in the top. I, I don't know what they're doing in the bottom. So we would certainly restore and retain right. the bottom panels, yeah. but they would be conjoined with a new panel, which would go underneath it, which would have the same design and the same color palette, and it would be a single slender vertical design. Yeah. And it would look I more think original and less piecemeal. Opening, it would also just really be a nice... Yeah, it would be a very nice... Is it that so maybe they were just the plain ones originally, and then like you said, somebody finally donated some money, and they, but they just decided to put it in the lower section or something? I mean, why would they have ever started uh, I, I it like that? It's hard to know. It's hard to know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, when you to know. see them up close, you'll see that there's so many different types of glass in those top. Like, none of them are quite the same, mm. you know? So it's kind of a Frankenstein yeah, yeah. arrangement right. in there. And, and now that we're on it, I mean... The ones above are. Those are even those sort are of even lefts, even. or the cracked one on the right. Well, I can I mean, see. Well, I mean, it's just what was go. What was the intention there? You know. I mean, that certainly completely horrible right now. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's so dark. It, it really looks like a boarded up window. It doesn't look like a window. You don't even notice them. It looks. It looks uh, like yeah. Yeah. Abandoned. I, I feel yeah. like when, when the church was built, they added those to create a cheap source of light. Yeah. Into that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the tower room. probably had no electricity right. in 1906. Yeah. Right. I mean, the building would have, yeah. but not necessarily the tower. Yeah. So it was free um, work life, right. basically. Right. But now, you know, in today's world, it's sort of a lost opportunity. That, that could be an architectural element that it isn't right now. And there's 12 of those individual sections because there's four sides there's to the bell tower in that yeah. configuration. Yeah. And so there you go. Okay. All right. Those are simple. I mean, so right. again, it's just a matter of... So there's an option to maybe do something with those 12 to reconfigure the, those that and then also to figure out something to do mm -hmm. if possible. Mm -hmm. Or they could all just go back in the way it is. They can all go back in the way they are. Okay. Yeah. I think that presentation we were talking about... Mm -hmm.